thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Sam, I'm the Hopeful Guy, and welcome to what comes next after. What comes after. Just go ahead and get right in. Aw, oh, cute kitty. Why? Hello. time huh? for the last train it's not that crowded here might be able to find a seat today yeah it's like a crowded bus I hope so um, Lucifer it's a great show on Netflix <laughs> doing all right Oh my, I'm so tired. Why do I have to rush anyway? It's not like anyone at home cares. There's nothing to do either. I should think about it too much. Yeah, I should. I feel that. I genuinely feel that. Might not be my own game. Hi, uh, Ghost Persephone. Did I overslept? That's not. Um, okay. OMG! Am I locked in? What? Oh no! Wait, they wouldn't lock you in, they'd wake you up. Whoa, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> exactly. Just need to, uh... <laughs> uh... Vivi. Okay. Vivi. Just relax. It's fine. I mean, if a cat was here, I assume this is a pretty safe place. Right? Mm, I mean, it's purple with uh, flickering um, particles with weird symbols. I think you'll be fine. No, it's a terrible thing to overthink things. Then you go get into a panic attack like I do sometimes. I'm the driver? Is that how you call someone who controls the train? Conductor? Uh, no. Well, they're technically conducting it. The train just propels itself. It doesn't You don't drive it. You just let it go. <sighs> I gotta stop doing mouth stuff. You're gonna have to reword that. Um. No. Ah! I like how the train thing goes into the music. I like it. What are they? Who are you? What are you? I think. I think who they think they are. Wait. Does it mean I have died? That's this. Uh, this doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't hurt. Or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway, um, is this really the afterlife? I can, I can consider myself kind of lucky. I didn't feel pain. It cost me nothing. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Uh, what? Uh... I, yeah. Uh. 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 Okay. <laughs> what? What? It's just like a weird whale blob ghost. Um, excuse me, my name's Vivi. Can you help me? 
Excuse me. Wait, one by one, please. Your turn, Will. Oh, not this again. Another living being on board? What are you doing here, kid? Hey, actually, I'm not sure why I'm here. You what? Oh, the humans failed to do their job again. Uh, I bet one request. One. For them to make sure the train is empty at night. Wait. Maybe it's not the humans. Maybe it's them. But why? What are they trying to achieve? Um, ma'am, can you tell me where the train is heading? Dead people board the train? Yeah, I kind of noticed that, and I'm not dead. To be precise, this train is boarded with beings who died at approximately 10 kilometers from the station today. But where are they going? To what comes after, of course. What comes after? Yes, what comes after, you naughty child. No more explaining for the living. Am I going there too? Of course not. I will never allow that. The living should never cross when it's not their time. But I think I saw a cat just now. The cat just walked past. Honey, she's also dead. So far, you're the only one not only not dead creature here. Then what should I do? Back to the living, of course. I can do that? Yeah, we will take you back. Really? Thank you so much. But, eh? I can't simply ask the train to return now, so you'll have to wait until tonight's group have reached their destination. And then, we'll go back to the station together. That, that doesn't sound too bad. How long will it take? Don't worry. We'll finish the trip before the morning comes. But what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Beat, beat the hell out of me, kid. You can just wait in the car you just, just came from. Or, you know, walk around. Try to get to know the folks around here. They always have some stories to tell. And maybe, just maybe, you can help them with something. Or if they can help you. What should I do? I can't just return to the car I woke up and, and wait. Or should I just walk around? Huh? Hey, are you a ghost? Uh, no. I, I think you are. Ah, so I am truly dead. I see. Thank you. Uh, okay. I hope I've done enough good in life. Make it worthwhile, you know? I'm sure you did great. Hey, <laughs> how do you know that, kiddo? Because you think like that? Thank you. You're a good kid. Alive and healthy, too. Should you really be here? I shouldn't. There has been a mistake. I see. I'm glad the mistake has happened. Why? You got to be in my brief company. Aww. Thanks, dude. It's a pleasant company. Aw, thank you so much. I don't hear that quite often. It's good that I say it then. I see. Even after your death, you still do good to others. Gotta cram it in before Judgment Day, right? <laughs> um, thank you for the compliment, but uh, a little much there, buddy. Okay. Hey. The last thing I remember was that truck barreling over me. And now I'm here. It was painful. Did it hurt? Only for a very short while. That's supposed to cause for celebration, right? I didn't suffer too long. Uh, oh, Jesus. It's okay to grieve your own death. Thank you. What are you doing here, anyway? This train is not for the living. There's been a mistake. Do you reckon they will allow me back if I say it's a mistake, too? Um, I don't think that's... I'm just kidding. I know that won't fly with the, con with the conductor. Don't worry. By the time this train's arrived at wherever it is we're heading to, I will already be content with myself. You're so sure with yourself. Not always. But when I don't, I try to forgive myself and try again. I suppose you need to hear that, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Go walk around. I'm busy, you little shit knocker. Oh, I want to give you a hug, but I just realized you're a ghost and that probably wouldn't work. They think that I just wasted my life to make somebody else richer. Life is often unfair like that. Hear her? Well, at least death seems way fairer than life. How are you sir so sure? Humans don't run this one little girl. Humans don't run this one little girl. Nothing and no one to mess it up. That's a bleak outlook to your human, our fe uh, humans, human fellows. What, are you one of them optimists? <laughs> no, 
quite the opposite, really. I'm just humoring you. Oh, good. I mean, I don't get to be positive when I was alive. So now, let me have a piece of hope. I hope that whatever entity running this show is fair and just. Unlike the clowns I worked for. I get that. I worked at several places where I get that reference. What if the judgment is fair, but you don't like the outcome? You mean if I got thrown into hell or whatever? Or whatever is the equivalent. Hmm. I don't think I did much good in life, so that's possible. But if that means people more evil and cruel than me got what they deserve too, I think it's worth it. Then I hope what awaits is something you deserve. That sounds like that sounds like a threat. Sorry. I'll I'll be going now. It sounds like a threat. I'll finally be able to meet my wife again. Life without her was very difficult. I'm sorry to hear that. No, I, it's okay, kid. I'm here now. Am I not? I waited for ten years. I can wait another train ride. Jesus. Um, sorry, but you seem so sure you will, you will reunite with her. No one else here seems so sure. Faith is all I have. You're still young. And you still have your life ahead of you from the look of it. The longer you live, the more faith and beliefs triumph. Faith and belief triumphs. I don't think I understand, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't think too much of it. Live your life as you see fit. And cherish the good people around you. I will. Thank you. You know when they talked about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel? Didn't expect it to be this literal. <laughs> I like you, lady. I used to love romantic comedy movies, you know? Most of them are about a boy or a girl looking and chasing after someone they love. And when they finally are together, that's it. Happy ending. As if getting together is the end of the journey. It's not. I don't learn that about, about it the hard way. What happened? Usually, you know, uh, things were great at the beginning until they don't. And when that happens, it will affect you emotionally and sometimes even physically. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> it's too late. Looking back now, I shouldn't have drowned my sorrow in those with those drinks. There are better ways. Ways that won't end my life and ruin the people around me. I'm sorry for venting it out a bit at you. Eh, no, it's alright. I don't really know who you are, but don't make the same mistakes I did. There will always be a better solution to whatever problems you're facing. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. And go to the other side of the train now. If this is truly the afterlife, the I hope my mom is oof, waiting at the end. Having me go alone is scary. Oh, kid. A little bit. But mom said she'll be waiting for me. In a dream. He didn't... I mean... Ah, uh, no. I didn't purposely try to go after my mom. If that's what we're implying. The doctor said it's... Hide the hide, headed, head, hereditary. Yeah, that. She said it means we suffer from the same. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Uh. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> Auntie, I'm not that old. But never mind that. Will you be okay alone? Yeah. And your journey is not over yet, Auntie. Good luck. Oh, that's sad. Ooh. Hey, you suppose I still have the chance to haunt my ex? Pardon? My ex. You think I can ask to turn around and give him one last surprise? Why do you want him to haunt him? He made my life a living hell. This is my only chance for payback. Hmm. I don't know what you're going to say. I should forgive and let go. Maybe? But I don't know your ex has... I don't know how your ex is wrong with you. So it'll be presumptuous of me to tell you off. Ha! Huh, it's okay. You didn't say it, but I know deep down it's true. I need to let go. Holding grudges isn't healthy. You're dead, though. No such thing as healthy or unhealthy. Girl, are you telling me to have a vegetable, a vegetable ghost? <laughs> be a vegetable ghost. It's my last chance to mention someone alive, I guess. 
Huh? This part of the train looks different. It's a dining car. I don't think di dining cars exist in the world. Who am I? Who am I kidding? As if logic and city transportation can't plan can apply here. Just rough stuff. Oh, you're the barely alive girl. Barely alive? Uh, you know, not here, not there. They have been talking about you. Um, listen. Piece of advice from one dead person. If you had to choose, choose life. It's much more worth it. I know things might seem hard and it sounds easier to just let go, but this is one thing you can't get back. Better enjoy it while you can. I know I would. Thank you. Oh! Oh lord. Oh my god, sweetie. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, miss? You did nothing wrong. You're so young. I noticed that too. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. But how can you speak normally like adults, miss? You're inside a train that takes people to the afterlife. And the thing you wondered about was how I can talk to you. Adults are weird. <laughs> You're right. Still feels weird, though. Don't worry. You'll be surprised by how well you can understand what everyone says on the train. But you might not understand what they mean. Okay. You've talked with the other passengers here. I did. Some of them have the same reaction as you had. No surprise there. Death comes to everybody. Why would they be surprised? That's pretty deep for a baby. Also, oof. Miss, don't underestimate babies. Don't underestimate babies, they'll surprise you. For all we know, the adults are the ones that always fail to understand us. That's... Huh? Yeah? I know. Anyway, they might be surprised because... Hmm. I guess they just felt sad about you. But everyone dies here. Except for you, of course. They should focus more on being sad for themselves. Or the people they left behind. You feel sad about the people you left behind? Me? Maybe. I haven't really got the chance to know them, so it's hard to know for sure. Besides, judging from the some of the passengers here, this world doesn't seem to be a pretty nice place. This world doesn't seem like a pretty nice place to live. Uh huh. I guess you dodged the bullet here. <laughs> That's not a nice way to say it. Don't tell me. Did she die because of a shooting? No. I shouldn't make any death-related puns here. Did you find the life to be difficult, Miss? And me? I don't know. I guess, yeah. It's not easy, but that was on me. It's my fault that my life is hard. Why is that? Huh? What do you mean? Why do you think it's your fault? I, I, I don't know. Oh, I know. Somebody must have told you that. And you can't stop thinking about it. No, no? No one ever said that to me. Whoa. Then why? I'm not even sure myself. You are weird, miss. You should... You sound like my parents. They keep apologizing to me. Even after I left my body. They did their they did their best. What is to be sorry what is it to be sorry for? Yeah, adults think too much. We think about things that are beyond our capabilities. What a waste of energy. You can spend you can spend the time and energy to choose which toys that you'll play with. You can spend time the time and energy to choose which toys you'll play with, or which cartoon you'll watch. And yet, adults choose to spend their energy and time in their heads. In our own head? Yeah. There's no monster in front of you. Why do you put on, put one inside your head? You wouldn't understand, I guess. And that's a great thing. At least you don't have to go through all these. Maybe you're right. But you have to realize, I'm missing a lot. From the stories people tell, told me here, it seems like life is something worth living. It's hard, but it's full of wonder. At least, that's what some of the older folks here told me. I'll never know. I'll never know the ending to that story about seven dwarfs. Because Dad hasn't got to the chance to finish reading them. I'll never know how how state tastes like. I can only smell and see them. I don't have my teeth yet, you see. I'll never know how alcohol... <laughs> oh, how school feels like, not alcohol. Though I've learned so much only by laying down on the, on the hospital bed. There are so many things I'll never experience, but I guess that's all right. How? How can you be so content? 
What is content? What is it? Uh, well, it's a feeling of peace, I guess. You have such a peaceful mind for someone who just died so young. I am dead, yes. Which means there's nothing I can do. Why should I think about it? Yeah, that's right. Ooh, hey, Percy. No, no. Missed. You don't have to compare yourself to me, you know. I know so little. That's why I don't really think things too much. You're not me. You know more. You have been through more things too. So please, just think and go at your own pace. Yeah, guess you're right. I won't be able to... I won't be able to be as content as you, but I can try. Even if I failed, that's alright. I can try again. While eating steaks and watching many adaptations of Snow White. Now you're just trying to make me jealous, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. That's alright. At least I can see you laugh. Apparently, one can still experience something new, even after death. Anyway, oh, I want to talk to more people here. It's the only way for me to learn more about the world away anyway. So goodbye, miss. Take care, kid. Oh, it's Curious George. <laughs> Curious George freaking died. Curious George died. Oh man. <laughs> Curiosity really takes you places you didn't expect, huh? Indeed. Like this game. Oh no. The humans were sad. This is worse. Oh no. Oh no. No no no. No 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 no. Oh no. No 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 no. No. There's gonna be so many tears in this one. Fuck. Ah. Oh. 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 Fuck. Damn it. Oh. like a forest inside a train just when I thought this place couldn't get any weirder thank you huh who's there I'm here uh I don't see anyone seriously human you're standing among so many plants and you said you see no one typical humans are you Yes, I'm standing next to the next to you now. Holy jeebus! Of course, that's how you living human would react. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I never imagined imagined that I would be able to speak to plants. Yeah, yeah. People studied about us, even considered us as fellow living beings. And yet, you're surprised about us being able to communicate. Um, no, I'm truly sorry. <laughs> you're sorry. Sure. Anyway, 
Uh, I just want to say hi to the only living thing on board. So yeah, hi. Hello. Um, what should I call you? Call? Oh, you mean my name? Call me whatever you like. Our kinds never needed names anyway. Alright then. Can I call you Tiny? Seriously, human? Out of all the creative names you can give me, you choose such an offensive name to describe my size. Oh my my. I'm sorry. Whatever. You can call me Tiny. Really? Thank you, Tiny. I bet you call your pet generic name too, like Kitty or something. Huh? What did you just say? Nothing. So, what's your name? Me? My name is Vivi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah. So you lost? Um, not really. I mean, yes, I was lost, but at least they said they can take me home. Now I'm just walking around while killing time. Whoa, girl. Don't talk about killing things on the stream. Oh my. Uh, that was a slip of the tongue. Anyway, how's the ride so far? Well, it's been very eye-opening. Deep down, I still believe this might be a dream. Nah, it's not. It's real. Oh, well, either way, it's fine with me. Yeah, you just gotta enjoy the ride. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I won't hold you much longer. You should use your time here well. Talk to everyone, maybe. And be nicer to plant something once you return. Will do. <laughs> Psst, bro. Seems like girl is staring at us. Ah, don't be so loud, man. She might hear us. But they don't understand our language. Um... I can hear you and understand you just fine. Whoa! Is she talking to us? No way! Humans don't even notice our existence. Until they are hungry. If she, if she noticed us, it means she's going to eat us soon. S sorry again. I'm not trying to eat you or anything. She's human. She must be lying. Just pretend we don't hear whatever she says. Maybe she'll ignore us too. Alright, alright. You don't want me around. I'm leaving. Uh, bro, she says she's leaving. But why is she still here? I don't know, bro. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Thank you. Even though this is not my prettiest form. All you can grow to be more beautiful? Yes. But humans are impatient. Somebody plucked me from my root before I got the chance to grow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you that kind of human lady, really? The one that's used my to find love and three more humans on Earth? No! Oh my, I would never think of doing that. But other humans would. Yeah. They. We would. Why do your people love to do that? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry all the time. I was just asking questions, you know. But still... You're here because of us. True. But just so you know, it's not like we flowers don't like to be appreciated. We love to be considered as beautiful as a beautiful gift. But we'd prefer if humans don't just pluck us out before our time. I'll keep that in mind. I can't change everyone. Or undo what has been done. But at least I can change myself and those around me. So we can be more mindful of your kind. That sounds good. Besides, how do you expect to find love? If you can't even wait for a flower to fully bloom. Oh. I really don't want to have this conversation. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is there a swing? Another weird place to have a swing. 
shiny but lively nonetheless that must be the luckiest treat to be graced with a lively soul even after mine left the world you talk too but in a very different way and what's so different about the way i talk young girl you sound real like somehow i'm not as surprised to hear you talk compared to the other passengers here ho 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 I'll take that as a compliment, then. So what brings you here, young one? Ooh, Ooh saxophone. Oh, uh, I was just wandering around. Waiting for this train to reach its destination. And then, they'll take me home. I was asking about that, dear. What brings you to this train? Eh? I don't know. I was just about to go home by the last train. And then I overslept. When I woke up, I was already on board this train. Oh dear. You can't just randomly go on, get into this train. This is a special train for someone unlike you. Yeah, I know. It's weird that I suddenly got here. It's not that we had child. There is a way for a living being to ride this train. Huh? What are you talking about? That person. They have to be connected. Or got too close. With the death. They have to make a connection with the death themselves. Are you telling me that it wasn't a coincidence? There is no coincidence if you are talking about death. There is only fate. You are destined to ride this train, because you, in one way or another, have touched death. It's alright if you don't want to talk about it. The fact that you are here, with your life intact, it means death is giving you a chance. A chance? Why? Who knows? Maybe they love you. Or maybe, they think you still have a purpose to fulfill. In the land of the living. <laughs> Being loved by death? That's really something. It really is something. But also nothing at the same time. Death loves everybody. How else do you explain his devotion to the difficult job? Of maintaining the life and death of every single creature on Earth. Way to ruin my moment. Of joy, whole tree. You are special. But so does everyone else. So is everyone else. I think you misunderstand the meaning of special. I still have much to learn, yes. How old are you, old tree? And why do you know so much about death? How old am I? <laughs> Let's see. I can't remember when they first put my seed inside the earth. But the first time I tasted the sun, the humans were at war. That doesn't say much. We were at war too many times. Yes, I can't remember the exact time. But the people from the west just arrived, and the original humans from the region were fighting against them. Oh, that was a pretty long time ago. Yes, it was. And to answer your question about how I know a little about death, you'll be surprised by the amount of life conceived, born, and taken away under my branches. Every death visited me, every time death visited me, we talked of it. They are good friends with a lot of old trees like me. Do you have a lot of friends around your age? Not so much, sadly. Most of them won't reach even half of my age. Be it because of war, or because of the humans took their life away. Oh. I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. Ho 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 ho. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, don't be. Death is just a passageway to a better life. To the good place. You seem to be very sure that's where you're heading, to a good place. Of course. I'm good friends with the tree with the death, remember? Not everyone goes to the good place, do they? Only good people deserve it. Ah, you are a believer. Um, it's not that. It's... Ho, ho, ho. We are trees, child. We do not... We do no sins. And we're the most tormented, yet very important souls on earth. No kind of divine rules. 
would disqualify us from the better afterlife. We were born on Earth to serve and suffer, and we can't do any about anything about that. Aw, I hugged the tree. I'm sorry to hear that, old tree. Oh, I'm sorry I keep calling you old, with no name. Do you mind? It's all right, kid. I've been calling you... I've been calling you by so many names, too. Pardon me for forgetting to ask. What is your name? Uh, my name is Didi. Ah, Didi. What a beautiful name. It's so full of life, both in words and its meaning. So tell me, Didi. Once you leave this train, what will you do? Go home. And then sleep, I guess. To be honest, I haven't put much thought into it. Ho 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 ho. You are not that different compared to us trees. Why? Try asking all the trees on board this train. What would they do if they were allowed to return? I assure you, the answer would either be sleeping or photosynthesis. <laughs> Even trees have more purpose in life than me. Which is why I asked. You have so many potentials. Why not utilize it? It's just not that easy. I you are right. It is not easy. But everything worth doing never is. Hey, come on. I just got into this mess a few hours for a few hours. That is if time flows normally here. I won't just simply find a new life purpose. A new life purpose in a few hours. Your journey tonight is not yet done, dear. What if, even after I return, I still haven't found my purpose? Then make one. How? That is for you to decide. You have experienced a thing not so many people, not even gods, ever had. Tell them about your story, however you like. Or do nothing. That is also alright. Hmm. Finding a new purpose sounds fun. I don't know if I can find them tonight, but I guess the night is young. The night is older than everything we know. But yes, the night is young. You really are an endless source of wisdom. Thank you. But I believe I have served my purpose with you, Didi. Now go. Find your purpose. Or do nothing. The world is not in your hand, but your world is in your hand. Thank you, old tree. I wish you well for the rest of your journey. There is only a short journey left for me, but thank you, dear. Oh, okay, that's the end of the train. I guess I gotta go all the way back. Pet the animals. Oh, I'm glad I played this. It's a little sad, but it's endearing, too. Good evening, miss. Um, Oh, she's shy. Good evening. Are you also... How should I ask this song? <laughs> you want to ask whether I'm dead or alive? <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry if that's rude. Don't worry about it. But to answer your question, the con concept of living or death is, does not apply to me. Huh? Do you work here? Just like gra the granny conductor? Something like that. Are you a chef here? You can say so. Interesting. I thought the death don't need it to eat anymore. No, you're right. They don't need to eat. Then what are you doing? I'm here to give them a parting gift. A parting gift? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, me? <laughs> but I'm still alive. If I accept the parting gift, doesn't that doesn't it mean I will die? And if that's the case, you would would you mind? Of course. Oh interesting. I thought you've been thinking about doing it all for a while. Isn't that right, Didi? How did you know? How did you know my name? How do you know about that? I just know. It's the perk of being me. So, do you want to take the offer or not? I... This is what you want, right? I... No. Thank you for the offer. But I don't think I want to go yet. Understandable. Thank you. But just so you know, my offer is still open. No strings attached. What? Do you want to taste the parting gift I usually get served? 
You don't have to part with your life afterwards. Eat. Are you even allowed to do that? I manage this kitchen and bar. I can do whatever I want. But, 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 what now? Don't you have a more pressing customer? That's very thoughtful of you, but no. My place is the most popular spot on the train. Most of the beings who ride this train immediately visited my place upon arrival. They don't want to miss the experience. My job is more or less done for tonight. Okay then, if it's not a bother, I would like to taste your dish. The parting gift. Thank you for, your, for ordering. And it's not my dish. It is your dish. Give me a moment. Uh, sounds like he's flushing something down the toilet. Your order is ready. Hey, this, this is the food you gave to people as a parting gift? Yes and no. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me about the dish? It is your dish after all. What do I have to explain? It's a mug of hot green tea latte and a plate of nas, nasi goreng with a sunny side up. Yes. So you serve this to everyone? No. Then what do... Why don't you give it a try now? Oh, all right. Let me take a bite. This, it's been so long, but I remember this. Can you tell me what you remember? Um, sure. It was a Sunday morning. I was just eight years old. Mom made this nasty goring for us. It's only not Sydney Goring, I know, but Mom was a single parent. She has to work multiple jobs, just so my sister and I can get a proper education. Sometimes, even on the weekends. But that Sunday morning, as my gaze was fixed on the TV screen, I could smell Mom's cooking. It's like, enjoy the music. Smell mom's cooking. And I left my favorite anime to follow the scent. Usually we had to cook for ourselves, or our mom would simply buy something for us. But she doesn't have to work that weekend, and she was in a really good mood. So she made us something for the three of us. Is that the first time? That's the weird thing. It wasn't. She cooked for us quite often, despite her being busy. I don't know why that Sunday felt so special to me. It wasn't even anywhere near my birthday. Or any of our birthdays. It simply had a special place in my memory. Thank you so much for this. Don't thank me yet. Why? You haven't drink you haven't drink in your order. You're gonna drink yet. Okay then. wonder how he's doing now. Pardon? Uh, nothing. D this drink reminds me of a dear friend of mine. You have any special memories of him? Yeah. It was very difficult. It was a very difficult evening. Did something happen? Almost. Thankfully, nothing happened. But still, it was diff a difficult evening. And he was there to help me get through the night. What did he do? He listened. And sometimes he encouraged me, but mostly he listened. He made this drink for me. You know the funny thing? Let's pretend I don't. Ha! This hot green latte is just a cup of instant green latte. You could get dirt cheap at the convenience store, but it was the best green tea latte I ever had. I guess I understand what kind of things you served here. You don't serve food and drinks. You serve memories. Memories attached to the food and drinks. That's one way to put it. But yeah, I serve the best meals and cu my customers ever had in their life. Most of the time, it's not about the food itself, but the memories attached to them. You can have the most delicious food on earth that you can't enjoy. 
that you can't enjoy it, the time, place, people, and everything else is not right. It also works the other way around. That's a really nice thing to do. I exist to serve. Um, if I may ask, please ask away. How long have you been doing this? I can't really tell you the exact number of years, but I've been doing this since the concept of life and death exist. That's long! Hmm. That's got me wondering. How should I ask this? Yes, you're right. Huh? What? They did ask for the apple when they visited this place. Oh my! That's one hell of a revelation. And please stop poking inside my head. Sorry, can't help it. Oh well, anyway. Once again, thank you very much. I might be the luckiest person on earth to be able to experience this while I'm still alive. You're not the first one, but indeed you are one of the very lucky few. Well, I hope I didn't waste any, all of my luck in life by having your wet dish. I mean, amen to that. Alright then, I gotta go. I'll see you again someday. Hopefully not too soon. Agreed. And I hope during your second visit, you'll have something new to eat and drink. Huh? Yeah. That's the plan. time here. Maybe I should go back to my car. Gotta make sure they don't ha leave me inside the train here. I just have to stick the keys in the way. Whew. What a ride, huh? I'm going to need a 24-hour sleep after this. Oh, hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? I'm sorry I didn't bring you any food with me. I'm dead. Ah! Good gracious. I've been through so many things this evening. And a talking cat is still a surprise for me. Get it together, human. Now pet me. Oh man. So this is just how cats would talk to humans. If we could under if we can understand you. Yeah. And you'll do that <laughs> what we say anyways. Damn you're cute. That's how we survive. By stealing and being cute. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. So I noticed you've been following me around, kitty. Yeah. You human and your generic names. Oh, you have a name then? What should I call you? Kitty is fine. <laughs> anyway, why did you follow me? I'm just curious. Curious about me? Is that simply a cat's nature? If you're just another dead person, I won't care at all. But you're still alive, and I'm judging you. We cats are good at judging hum humans. The same cannot be said about us. That's right. Meow. Judging me for what, by the way? For something important. But before that, I'd like to get to know you better, human. Tell me about yourself. And tell me, tell you, and then I'll tell you about mine. Can I ask first? Sure. So is this your ninth time here, kitty? That's not how it works. When we lose a life, we simply wake up where we were sleep like we were sleeping just like in your video games oh i don't get i don't play video games that much but i understand so this is your ninth time dying huh meow we usually waste the few first few of our lot first few of our lives when we're kittens learning takes sacrifices true i wish we could learn how to live life with additional eight lives like you you have better brains than us that should compensate for the additional lives you don't have. <laughs> why? What do you mean, why? Why is your brain not enough for you? I, I'm not sure. Even with this brain, life is still not easy. Heck, sometimes I feel like our brains just made things harder. Nine lives sounds like a better option. Human, we were given nine lives because we can only learn things the hard way. Dying nine times involve a lot of pain, you know. Yeah, living once also involves a lot of pain. I guess each of us has our own unique problems. True. So, you live with your family? Recently, yes. With my mom and sister. Recently. I used to live by myself, renting an apartment near my office. So does my sister. But then, mom's condition got a little bit worse. And someone has to stay with her. She's working? Well, we have this little convenience store at home. Mom saved some money from the years she spent working. Her dream was to build a restaurant, but that's hard. 
It's even harder than before nowadays, you know? So she decided to open a small store, selling general necessities, and sometimes weird stuff she found. And sometimes weird stuff she found online or on her travels. Nowadays, she mostly just sit and chat with the, our customers. Sometimes we got help, usually from the local neighboring kids looking for extra money. But I figured having a family member around would be better. So I decided to move back. Not having to pay rent is great, but the time I spent on the road is pretty crazy too. What about your sister? She doesn't really have any options. She comes back home almost every weekend, but she still lives by herself in the central business district. Say, do you have a garden at home? Garden? We sure have. Mom loves gardening. It's not big, but it's enough. Sounds like a lovely home and family. Thank you. I'm pretty lucky to have them. They're also lucky to have you, you woman. I'm not so sure about that. I'm just a burden for them. Did they tell you that? What? No, of course not. That's I'm, that's a mean thing to say. Then why do you think so? Because because it's true. Oh, did you hear them talking about it behind your back? I'm sorry to hear that. No, actually, you didn't accept my apology? No, no, I never heard them actually say it. You are confusing me, human. If they never said it, you're, that you're a burden, why would you think of that? <laughs> this kitty is an example of why having nine lives is better than having a better brain. I don't really get it. But if having a human's brain won't let me think that I'm the queen of the world, I don't want that. <laughs> Told you. Have you finished interviewing me yet? Yes. I think I have assessed you, you enough. So what's the verdict? I think you would be the perfect person. I need your help. <laughs> I don't think I'm capable enough to help anyone. But shoot. I died today, you know that you know that for sure. Yes. I was on my way home after looking for food. Before a reckless driver crashed into me. Oh my. I'm so sorry, Kitty. I don't mind dying really. Being a stray cat is not a life full of glory. But I left something behind, and they won't let me rest in peace. And what's that? Kittens. Oh no. Yeah, there are four of them. I went out to eat so I can nurse them. But, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, kitty. You don't need to feel sorry, human. But humans let this happen. We are the worst. Oh yeah, that I agree. Although humans and dogs are always racing to the, be the worst. Back to the topic. I hate to do this, but I'd like to ask you for your help. Tell me what I can do. Do you want me to avenge your death to the driver who killed you? That'd be tough, but I'll try. <laughs> no, no, silly. Is it possible? Yes. Is it possible you take... Uh, if you can take care of my kittens, take my kittens to your home. Do you want me to take care of your kids? You won't mind? Human, I'm dead. And you're the only living person here. But the conductor and the chef are... Do you think they care? They don't. They don't? Well, they probably do, but they are busy. If they need to make sure every, every soul's... They need to make sure every soul in their... Souls in their jurisdiction rest in peace. They would die. Even though that concept don't really apply. Is it alright? I can't even take care of myself. Let alone taking care of four kittens. You'll be fine. I've been watching you since you boarded this train. You don't love yourself enough. But that... That lack of... Self-love was allocated to the others. Us cats have more senses than you, human. We knew. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know whether I can be enough for them, but I'll try. Mom would love them too. And my sister. She'll get you some. That's the spirit. You don't need to worry. They're like three or four weeks old. They just need somebody to feed them, give them home and love. Any tips from their mom? Love them well. That'll do. Where can I find them? How to explain it now? Oh, I know. Focus on me. What do you... What do you... Focus? Just focus and think. About what probably... What's that my head? Okay. Whoa. What's that? Do you see them? Yeah. They're not too far from the station. Yes. So please. Don't worry. You know you can count on me. I don't know, but... I don't know, but you know, right. That made, that sentence made no sense. Yes, 
Thank you so much, Meow. You've done enough, Kitty. You can rest well now. Once again, thank you. Stop mentioning it. I have one more request, though. Huh. What is it? Can I stay on your lap until I arrive at my destination? Of course. Thank you, human. The pleasure is mine. This is a trip. Yes? Yes? Hmm? Whoa! Am I dead? Uh, I sure hope not. Oh, I'm back. You never left. You've been stuck inside the train for hours. What time is it? It's almost 4 a.m. Time for the first train. Thank God it's the weekend. Wait, what day is today? You're right. It's Saturday. Whew. Did you thank our station for finding you here? Oh, sure. Ah, I got it. It's you! Hello there. Oh, you've met her. Good. I have to leave you. <laughs> got something to do. Make sure nobody's left inside the other trains, okay? Will do, ma'am. You look like someone who's just seen a ghost, dear. Why are you here? I work here, remember? I thought you only work in the other train. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Even with me watching both sides of the station, they still manage to sneak you in. Imagine if I only work on one side. They? You mean your staff? No, I'm talking about death. That sneaky bastard. Paul. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that was your trip last night. Had a pleasant journey? I have to say, it's a life-changing experience. Good. You are very lucky, you know. For most people, that trip is a sign of life-ending... This is a sign of life-ending experience. You still got your life ahead of you. Yeah, yes I know. And I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Now don't get too comfortable staying here. I'm sure you have a promise to make, right? Oh my! Yes, my kittens! Thank you for reminding me. I'm off to my... I'm off, Grandma. Live well, kid. I ain't your fucking grandma. Can I have to get a picture of Oh. What comes after? Hey. That was a trip. Oh. I'm so glad I played it, though. But that was a trip. It's very good. Can't understand what he's saying, but I'll probably cut to the end, but Uh, sorry, I'm not saying much. That was a, that was, it's good. It's a trip to get through, though. Uh, uh, Tamitsu, rolling glory jam. Did a good job. I almost cried. Actually, I did cry. Got ready to tear up because I fell asleep. Yeah, it did. Man. Boy. Editing's going to be a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I know what it was about. It's about, there's a lot of stuff. It's about death. Suicide <laughs> stuff. I think it's about suicidal thoughts. Uh, those topics are very hard in real life. I, obviously, this game's before that. So, um, I hope that if you need help in those times, um, you just reach out. I think that's all we can hope for. Just a little hope in life. Um, I want to go through the whole credits, but I can't. Just 
just trying to take it in, like you watch a good movie. No problem. I'm glad I play. And I'm glad I'm me too. I'm glad I get to do that. Make your own path. By plowing forward. Song's not over yet. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please leave a like. Um, I'm glad I played it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.